Okay, looks like he's trying to flank us. Okay, head up there. In place. That's your target. It's mine. That's the last one. Look at that, you see? That's that, you see, I'm actually using tactics. See, I spotted the Let's flanking maneuver. This whole place comes apart. And I counter flanked. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very different... So far, it doesn't feel massively like XCOM, if you know what I mean. But... This will take us to the test site. What are we waiting for? Come on, Carter! All aboard! What do you mean, come on, Carter? I was the first on board, you morons. But I'm sure, as time goes on... Carter, this is Falk. We are en route. Take the diesel to the test site and signal us when you arrive. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh, no. I didn't like that. No shit. Hold on to something. Whoa. Well, hold on, you idiot. Oops. Um, that might be bad. You two, hang on. Oh no, I want to hold on too. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna derail. Oh, dude, how did we not derail? Just get him on. Oh, my goodness. What have you got in that backpack? Lead weights? Woo! Yeah! Holy shit, the mountain is literally collapsing. It's in a sort of slightly weird way. I mean, it could have been worse. We could have all been mangled horribly. Oh yeah, I'm still looking badass. Should be a radio up there. I just hope they haven't left yet. Yeah. We can certainly hope. Well, okay, you know where you're going. What we got here? Sniper rifle! Come on, Carter, radio in and let's get out Shush, I'm getting the sniper rifle. Not that rifles are actually called sniper rifles, they're just normally. You know, but games games like to call them sniper rifles. Falk, Agent Weaver, anyone? Copy uh, Agent Carter. Sky Ranger 1 reads you. I've got Falk and Weaver, and I am inbound to your Uh oh, what the fuck is that shit? Um Okay, dude. Like the look of that bomb up there. Um over there. Dude, no you just you just get your shit together, mate. I can do that. Would you rather head back to the base? Should be fine. The I hell start any tests. Right. Here they come. I see them. They're down below. Let us know where you want us, Carter. You're you're pretty much fine where you are, but you need to critical strike on on what the hell is that Hit drop it hard. part? You put that. Up a turret. Deploying turret. That was a shadow. I literally was aiming at a shadow. Enemies dug in. Where are they? There they are. Where's Falk? Can you see him? What the? F Carter, Nils, heads up! Come on, Falk! Come on! More pods incoming! Oh, missed there. We can hold on just long enough. Oh, I need to reload that now. Oh, 
What are you doing there, man? Behind cover! I'm on my way! And what are you doing? Actually, you can move uh, there. On the move. I don't think that there's... Um, Okay, it stood up, but it doesn't matter. They're holed up good. Really? Wow. Okay. That it? Really? Okay, I've got three shots with this rifle now. We're seeing enemy forces inbound to you. These fuckers aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast oh, can you clear the on. site's blast radius? Run. Blast radius. Carter, what are you? I'm gonna start the test sequence. What? It's the only way to keep them from following us. The fuck? And get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Ranger's built for speed, but it's no match for those outsider ships. All right, do it. Wow. Then, let's give those bastards something to remember. Okay, there's a lot of ammo around here. Okay, I'm gonna grab the rifle. Oh yeah, grenades, grenades. Need to remember grenades. What the hell am I doing? You really going to start the test sequence, Carter? Well, probably. It seems like the thing to do. Um, I'll just press this. There we go, one button. Listen, we're not safe and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say and we'll get through this. Yes, sir. We're with you, Agent Carter. The shit. Okay. Open fire! Contact! Wow, you're just right the way up there. Nice. Okay. Moving! Oh my god, you're like literally, there's a pod right on top of us. Shit, man. Okay, let's get you out. Ugh. Um. Okay, you you back away, back away from the from the the ship. Run, just run. Shit. Okay, that was not good. You critical strike. That sucker. Scatter area. No, 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 no. I've got this one. Okay, we need to get a turret placed. We need there. Extra firepower. Warning. Warning. Sky Ranger to Carter. Agent Carter, respond. This is Carter. Cutting it close, aren't you? No Go shit. Ahead. What the fuck is Get that? Forward. Kill it. Reloading. They've got high advantage. Take them down. How do I turn this bloody thing? Okay, right. They're closing in! Orders! Orders? Um, shoot them. Shoot them lots. Take it down! Just watch me! Actually, you know what? You, you can move. I'm gonna get you to move down here. Probably. Cover there! Watch my back! And here! Die! Okay, fine. But we've kind of... Okay, where is the dropship? It's behind us. Okay, right, so... If I turn around... Get you... To fucking leg it. Move out! On the move! No, wrong button. Okay. You're heading back. You should head up there as well. Yeah. Over there. Moving out. That turret should Get give us cover. Go, 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 go. Come on.
Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah. Boom. Acquired technology. What? It's just like, that's what we just... Okay. Like further activity. My god, look at that. We've wasted so many of them. I got quite a few kills. Eh, Kinney and Nils, they're alright. Does it actually tell you what these... pair of binoculars and a sort of like engineer type thing? Okay, well, it looks good. In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. That's the Sky Ranger's a chopper. This is Sky Ranger 1, requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. It's a good start. Not getting blown up is a good start. Just admit it, you're impressed. A little? So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. Good. You were never meant to. <laughs> this base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. That's all right, I'll, I'll turn things around. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. Hmm. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. There are a lot of soldiers in here. Jeez. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Uh, don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. <laughs> Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. That weaver is one tough broad. <laughs> so, True. this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Yeah. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. Just call I me for William. Yeah, well, <laughs> I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah. The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. Yeah. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. Why? What's in my file that's bad? How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry. You'll get to read up on us, too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know? Ain't that the truth. You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Sounded silly to say it until a few hours ago. <laughs> Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well, the ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. 
No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. <laughs> Bloody hell. Talk about headhunting. Morning, Falk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we've got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. Cool. Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in, in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? Hmm, good point. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Yeah. The director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seats. Well, what does it say in my? F I've got just enough time to read. I'm widow, so I lost me wife. Deceased, deceased, deceased. Jeez, I've lost everyone. In fact, hang on a second. My father, my wife, and my son all died in the same year. Jeez. Well, there's definitely a story behind that. Joint Army, 41, Pearl Harbor. <sighs> Got good promoted, returned to college, shortly after graduating, quick thinking and bravery. Excel deep cover assignments, weeks and months. Blah blah blah. So I was undercover of an enemy. Well, uh, not technically enemy, but yeah, Cold War enemy. Well, here we go. Fifty-nine. That's the year. Doing deep cover of a, a fire at his family home, kill his father, wife, and son. Ouch. Due to communications blackout, didn't learn of it until he returned a year later. Alternates between blaming himself and the agency. Great. Drinking problem. Yay! Flawed hero. That's not been done before. Um, following a string of disciplinary charges. Reassigned to domestic operations only. Demotion to administrative duties. God, oh, my fall from grace. Aggressive, temperamental, and defensive, but he gets the job done. A recommended long term position. Man used to be a hero, but now he's busy destroying himself. And my bloody speech box as well. I just decide to shred my larynx and end up talking like Batman. Because it makes me sound tougher than I actually am. I'll come and get on with this. Lights. Yeah, I've seen this shit before. We are at war. And not the one we were expecting. Hmm. <laughs> Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, Strategic Command itself ceased to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same. Even if our enemy does not. Yeah, yeah, cool. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. Yeah, and, and the rest. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. Mm. Not the rousing speech that I was hoping for. What the fuck is going on? Them. Let me help them. Will. 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 
Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. <sighs> what? Jesus, Carter. Well, I thought you look worse than before you went to sleep. <laughs> I'm fine. It was just a dream. Yeah? <laughs> oh, it must have been a doozy. <clears throat> sleep is a waste of time anyway. Yeah. And I'm afraid the world of the waking isn't much better than whatever dream you were having. Yeah. That's, that's true. Maybe. What do you mean? Uh, forget it. Nothing. Did you have a reason for waking me up? Yeah, actually. Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office ASAP. Okay, cool. Hang on, why am I going to question that we sleep in the office? I've literally just been asleep in my clothes, in my hat, standing up in my office. I mean, okay, I may be putting on the voice of Batman to sound tough, but you, you, you got if you could just stand there in a hat and go to sleep, that's, that is pretty badass. <laughs> oh dear. What's with the radio? What do you mean, what's with the radio? You're saying something about that radio. Oh, yeah. Cheap thing normally just pipes in the company elevator music. But it's been picking up some weird signal. Damned if I know what it is. Don't we have more important issues to deal with? Uh, sure, that's why I haven't bothered with it. But if someone on the outside is able to broadcast through that jamming signal, well, it could be important. Who would know more about this? Check with Operator Chelsky. She's information officer for the Bureau. Keeps track of communications, arranges contacts, manages what the public hears. The whole deal. Okay. <laughs> public don't fucking hear shit at the moment. The old man say what he wanted with me. <laughs> Guess you don't know him all that well yet. The director doesn't tell anyone anything he doesn't think they need to know. Hmm. I suspect we need to know very little. I'd better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. I want to kill aliens. Okay, what's the radio up to then? Hello, radio. Two. Message repeats. Two, five. Zero. Better make a note November. of this and talk to one of the Eight. radio operators. Nine. You probably ought to run that by Operator Chelsky. Message the hall. repeats. Might be important. Two, hmm. five, zero. November. Eight. Nine. Two. Meh. Meh. Pfft. Whatever. Right. You the dispatcher. A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information Officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. And for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Cool. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Absolutely. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. And if we can't keep the enemy contained... In that case, civilian unrest is the least of our problems, isn't it? That is true, that is true. And I totally believe that as well. If there was an alien invasion, the last thing you do is tell the people. And that might piss off the people, but... You know... <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you actually going to do that's going to help the situation? Isn't the enemy jamming all communications? Yes. Most broadcasting equipment is facing heavy interference, cutting effective range down to less than 5% of normal. Then mm. how are you... Our equipment is significantly more robust. We're still communicating at approximately 90% of effective range. The best of the best, you know. I'm surprised that these aliens that can travel the distance between stars and have all sorts of weird energy weapons can't punch through that sort of technology. It's ridiculous. What does the population know? They're worried about the communications blackout, but our operatives in the major cities are keeping them in line. Keeping them in line? <laughs> That's about to question that. They sound like they've declared martial law. Nothing as heavy-handed as that. Just a series of emergency preparedness tests. They'll be tense, but orderly. Cool. Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... The range to what? Um... Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Well, it'll be north. Set the direction north. And the frequency? Yeah. That was it. Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra high frequency. Nothing. W wait. What is. It's survivors. They're trying to warn others of the attack. Reply. 
Tell them they aren't alone. We'll do what we can to assist. We'll dispatch someone to help, but we'll also have to make sure they stop broadcasting immediately. We can't risk that information spreading. Agreed. As they get rescued. Yeah. Good stuff. Right. Look at that. Aren't I good? 